Uh, okay, so for our first question here, could you tell us more about the new Credo platform and what the unique selling points are? Sure. So it's obviously one of the things that remains, uh, uh, you know, foundational in what we do is, it's, and it's part of the DNA of Credo. It's, um, you know, our, our vision is democratizing and decentralizing the infrastructure that allows users, yourself, uh, or businesses to secure keys and digital assets, right? That's really underpinning everything we do uh, and everything we're going to do in the future. Uh, but our take is really uh, unique, right? So we are using technologies such as MPC, zero knowledge proof and trusted execution environments. All of these secure uh, security oriented technologies to really serve, um, you know, one purpose, which is securing, uh, securing keys and assets in a decentralized fashion. And what the Credo platform does and the new Credo platform does is really taking all of these advanced technologies and packaging them into something users can use and want to use and can build businesses on top of it. So, you know, security doesn't have to be complex um, and it doesn't need to be, uh, there doesn't need to be a trade off between user experience and security. So, really, with this new platform, we're really trying to, to change that trade off and getting more and more approachable and accessible uh, so that users and, and companies can, can build on top of a secure. Uh, secure layers such as ours. I don't know, um, Jules. What do you think? What's your what what stands out in your view? It's almost like I could I could I could, I could describe it from 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 the from the other end, and the other end being you know the, the customers that we speak to every day, and and uh, I think the mindset with which even our marketing team has really kind of focused on articulating what the new credo uh, looks like, and and uh, I think they've nailed the summary, which is you know a, a sim it's simpler, safer, and smarter, and and once you kind of actually uh, unpick. The, the 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 headline here, it, it it is weighted with a lot of uh, consequence and, and and all of the work that actually Gabe just described. You know, having uh, a platform that's simpler means that the UX is just dramatically improved. And and as we all know, like one of the things that perhaps the crypto industry as a whole uh, doesn't always deliver on is actually exceptional UX. Uh, when I think about Safer. I think this is this speaks to you know, some of the even more nuanced aspects of our technology. We um, Gabe just alluded to, to to the implementation of zk, but I think we can also talk about the guts of the platform just in terms of our um, cloud migration. Um, recently, as a great illustration of this, and something which is which is really really fundamental from a user standpoint, and and smarter. I think for me, smarter also spells out a lot of underlying concepts. One of them is is really hinges on, on scalability and, and the overall utility of the platform. Uh, and and the, some of the features that we're releasing now, some of the features that are now on the roadmap is a great illustration of the fact that it's not just going to be about securing the assets, but it's about giving you the actual empowering the users to, to, to be smarter about how they secure them, but also how they deploy them. Um, and so those three things combined, you know, simpler, safer, smarter, I think is a great summary of what the new credo is going to feel like to the user base. Yeah, great, great explanation there. And I think touching on Gabe's point as well, um, right now to, to, to have wider adoption, we definitely need to have less barrier of entry for users. Um, obviously, right now it's, it's quite complex. Some of my friends don't even know what crypto is, um, don't understand it. If I try and explain it, they look the other way. So I think focusing on the, the the user experience is going to be really helpful in that, and it's great to see that Credo is taking those steps. And, and I think barrier to entry works both in, in two ways. One of them is this kind of immediate experience you have when you want to start entering the sector, or like when you start want to start dabbling in the crypto space. But it's also the barrier to entry is also you know creating the long-term confidence that when some that you know that things that often go wrong are not going to go wrong if you basically trust us as a partner uh and and i think that what what, what we're really building for and what we've done well so far but that i think that this next uh, chapter will illustrate very well is that we do those things both those things very well is you know you, you can come in but you can be safe with us once you're there yeah and that's super important especially in the space and I think it goes back to also, you know, you, you might have other alternatives in which you can secure keys, but there are very few that have gone the length we have gone to make it as trustless as possible, right? It's, there's, no, uh, there's no solution yet to have a completely trustless system, 
but there's no need to take in compromises and shortcuts when it comes to something so core as a uh, uh, you know key and asset custody so you know while it might not sound as exciting uh, you know i'm reminded every every other event that happens in this terrible winter i'm reminded that you know you, you got to stick to what you know which is uh, you know securing a private key is really is really uh, the crux of, of the space if you can do that well uh, and if you can build vertically on on, on, on that trust then then there's going to be an exciting uh, offering for both uh, uh, you know our users and, and and enterprises listeners make sure to check out new Credo platform and let us know what you think your feedback is invaluable to help Credo continue to evolve and enhance its services uh, and don't forget to keep your eye out on our social channels for all the latest news and updates We'll be sure to keep you updated on any exciting developments as they unfold. Uh, thanks again for tuning in and we'll see you next time.